Hello everyone and welcome to the Colibri kickoff meeting. My name is James Mayer Pedersen and I'm the main organizer of Colibri. In the presentation here I will go through a little bit about Colibri, the product and the Colibri course. I will say something about the course structure and the organization. I will say something about using Moodle as a learning platform, something about the product and midway seminars, and in the, in the end there will be time for questions and comments. So who are we in Colibri? Well, there are seven academic partners, seven universities from all over Europe, and then there are three companies who are from Germany, Atenecom, from Spain, Talaya Networks, and from Greece, EKT. So why are we doing this? Well, basically, we think we need to modernize European education. We think that the students we are seeing today are coming with different backgrounds, with different learning styles, from different cultures, and we are seeing much more mobility in Europe. So we are seeing that uh, the students we have really come with different, uh, with different backgrounds. So when I give a course on the seventh semester, there will be students from several different universities and they never had exactly the same courses. So we need to make learning more personalized so it fits to your need and to your qualifications. We need to use IT much more because lectures are not the most maybe efficient way of learning. And we need to emphasize collaboration between students from different fields and from different nationalities. So what we are trying here in Colibri is basically to develop new and innovative teaching methods and to play with them and to try them out on, on students who have different backgrounds. And ladies and gentlemen, you are our living lab. You, you are the students who will be testing out how it works in reality when we try to do things in a way that is different from, from the normal lectures and projects that we are running in the different institutions. So we are really happy to have you here. We hope that you will learn something. We hope you will have fun. But we also hope that you will help us because we need your feedback in order to be even better in what we are doing. So when talking about teaching methods, what is it that we are trying to do differently? Well, how we have organized Colibri is that we have 10 course modules and each module can be followed at introductory, basic and advanced levels. And we have different elements in each lecture. So these elements can, for example, be self-assessments, um, short video lectures with small assignments, with quizzes, mini projects, peer learning, where you have to work together and can learn from each other. And we want to combine physical and virtual learning environments. So instead of having either physical learning or virtual online learning, we want to try to combine it. This is what is called blended learning. Then we want to have not only the course modules, but also the projects, which are based on real problems from real co companies, where in order to solve the problems, you need to work together across backgrounds and across institutions. And again, we need to combine the physical and the virtual learning environments. So what does it mean for you? How is it that we have structured the course? Well, in the course here, there are roughly four students from each university. I know there are a few more from Hamburg, and you're most welcome. Uh, so it's organized, first of all, by a virtual kickoff, which we're having today. Then there will be a period of virtual learning, followed by a physical mobility in Istanbul, where we all meet in the Midway Seminar. And in Istanbul, we will finish the course modules and start the project work. And the groups will be announced there. Then after announcing the project groups and after starting to work together and making a plan for how to collaborate, there will be a period of virtual collaboration on the projects with these uh, four students per group. And then there will be a final seminar in Riga where you can finalize and present the projects. And this is also where we'll be having the exam. So the course is structured or the modules are structured in the following way. First of all, there is an introductory module, which is corresponding to one hour of workload for you. And all of you will be following all the introductory modules. Then you have the modules that you have selected, which are the basic modules and the advanced modules. 
these are given as a combination of different elements and we are different teachers and we are using different ways of doing it um, but it will all be a combination of video lectures, of quizzes, of assignments, of literature studies and using the Q&A forum for discussions. In addition, the basic modules will contain a self-test in the beginning to help you have the right qualifications before you start on a module. So if you don't have the qualifications, it will provide you some guidance in order to reach um, the level that will, uh, will give you a good experience with the course. And then the advanced modules can, uh, well, they will contain uh, the same elements as the basic courses, so it will also be video lectures, quizzes, and assignments, and so on. But there will also be more focus on peer learning, uh, which might mean synchronization. So it might be that you will need to work together with other students who are following this advanced module. And the reason for doing so mainly the advanced modules is to make it easier for you to coordinate all this work because we have around 30 students, we have 10 different modules and if everybody had to work together um, in the different modules it would be, we think, hard to coordinate. So we have isolated this part to the, to the advanced modules. It is our intention that each module should be self-explanatory and self-contained but if it's not really clear what we expect you to do or if something is, is unclear then please contact the teacher who is responsible or use the Q&A form. It's the first time we're doing this, so if something is not completely perfect from the beginning, please uh, help us to, to make it better. What is important to remember in the course is, please help us by keeping, keeping track on how much time you spend on each module, because we don't want to overload you. Uh, and if we can see that some modules are, are more time and work intensive than they were planned to be, we would like to be able to adjust it either this year or next year. Also, there are some deadlines which are important in order to give you a good experience with the course. First of all, we recommend, we don't require, but we recommend that you finish all the basic modules by March 23, so you can focus on the advanced modules after that point in time. Um, the peer activities for the advanced module will be scheduled by each teacher and they will take place from the 23rd of March until the 10th of April. So that's why we put this also a deadline. Uh, however, we also have some hard requirements. So all introductory and basic modules that must be finished by March 29, which also includes, includes the self-assessment in the end that marks the, the end of the module. And all introductory and basic modules must be finished before starting on the corresponding advanced modules. So you must finish um, the basic part before you start on the advanced part. Also, all advanced modules must be finished by the 10th of April, so you are ready to go to Istanbul with everything prepared, and from there on, uh, so we in Istanbul can, fo can focus on having the final uh, Q&A and the final discussions and clarifications on each module and move ahead with the projects. And talking about the project, the project will be done in groups of four students from different institutions and will announce a group during the Midway Seminar in Istanbul. You are expected to work together first in Istanbul, and then virtually, and then again in, in Riga. The projects are proposed by companies and they are based on real problems that the companies actually have, so you will need to work together in order to solve it. In order to help you, both technically in dealing with the issues of, in the project, but also in the process of working together and in working together in a virtual environment, you will be assigned both a university supervisor and a contact person from the company. And please feel free to draw upon these persons in order to, to give you the best possible guidance. The project will be finished in, in Riga and it's finished by um, a group assignment. So each group needs to hand in um, what corresponds to a 30 minute presentation in PowerPoint or similar. You don't have to do a video presentation just a PowerPoint file is fine. Um, that's one part. The other part is a short report of two pages per group that describe your re reflections on the learning process. So what you have learned, how you have learned it, um, not only technically, but also the whole thing about working 
um, with this new way of teaching that we have applied in Colibri and working with students from different sectors and from different other institutions. So an evaluation of the, of the whole learning process in Colibri. The project is also the basis of the exam. That's the next slide. And the exam will be held the last day in Riga. It's a pass-fail exam where there is a project presentation. So that is 30 minutes per group uh, where we expect all of you to participate. So when the group is of four people, we expect each student to spend around seven, eight minutes. Um, this part is following by question and answers where we also expect that all of you are active. The question that are given to the different students can depend on the different roles in the group. So um, this might depend on which modules you as an individual have followed. But all, but all the questions will take the starting point in the project and the project presentation, but they might be with different flavors depending on your, your specific uh, background or modules. I will say that don't be scared. We will guide you on how to do it and we will help training you and making good presentations. Using Moodle as a learning platform. Well, we have collected all the course material on Alba University Moodle in order to limit the number of platforms that you need to experience and, and work with. And you will, you either have received or you will receive very soon a username and password. Um, this is valid for mail.au.dk where you have email access and where you can change your password, which is recommended to do, but also to Moodle.au.dk. And um, when you get into Moodle AUDK, you will see that all modules are listed on the front page and they are divided into introductory, basic and advanced parts. And we have to, of course tried to make all modules well explained, but if something is not clear and if something is not self-contained, please contact the teacher in charge of it um, or use the forums or contact me uh, or your local coordinator because we want to make sure that we get it right. And again, this is the first time we're doing it. So if you have any suggestions or, or comments or suggestions for improvements, then please uh, help us with that. And talking about improvements in quality, we have a quality assurance group consisting of teachers, but also of one student per university who will meet frequently virtually to ensure that everything is on track, that all expectations are met and that there are no problems that are not dealt with. So, before, meeting, before you leave the meeting today, please select your local representative and send to me the name and email address of the person you have elected. So we can uh, initiate the first meetings and have the regular meetings and make sure that problems are, are handled as soon as they occur. There are two seminars in Colibri. There is the Midway Seminar in Istanbul on April 13 to 17 and there is the Project Seminar in Riga from July 13 to 17. Since we'll be working full days, it's necessary for you to arrive the day before and to leave the day after, or even later, um, from Istanbul and Riga. So, what we have done with the accommodation is that in Istanbul, we have accommodation from the 12th to the 18th. And in, in Riga, because we book it a little bit differently, we have accommodation from the 12th to the 19th. So, um, so we cover this accommodation. And we also cover the travel, the food during the work days, and, the, and some of the social activities. If you want to stay longer in Riga or Istanbul, it's really okay. I just need to know it as soon as possible so we can book the tickets accordingly. Therefore, what I kind of ask you to do is to send to me, each of you, your preferred travel dates. So when you would like to go to Istanbul, when you would like to leave, and similarly for Riga, and also if you need any special uh, assistance with visa, if you have any special requirements, and then please, um, your full name is written in your passports. So both the first and the last names, and please indicate what is first and last names, so you don't get any problems when traveling. So please exactly as it is in the passport, so we can go ahead and order the tickets. That's basically the end of the presentation. The last thing I will point out is that if you go to the website or if you go to Moodle, you can find both a student guide 
and you can find the exact curriculum describing the content of each module. And if you have any other questions, please contact your local coordinator or feel free to always contact me as well. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to meeting you in Istanbul and I hope you will have a great course, that you will learn something and that you will also provide us with some useful feedback and comments. Thank you very much for your attention.